Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. All right, in today's video, I'm going to be growing pole beans. Oops, I already done dropped some. I'm trying to grow them already. Now, I let these uh, sit in water overnight just to uh, give me a jump start to help out with germination so when I uh, plant. And so when I uh, have pole beans, of course, I gotta have a pole so it grows up the, uh, the actual uh, steak. All right, so I'm, before I put the, uh, the poles down, I am going to uh, dress my area with some compost. I'm gonna use a black cow. I wanna make sure I have enough organic matter just to uh, give the uh, plant a jump start. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay that down. And I already pulled back my wood chips and for uh, new, new uh, viewers to my uh, channel, I'm, I have a, a food forest, so I have layers of uh, wood chips. You can't, I can't grow into the wood chips, so I gotta pull them back. And I'll explain why I like to do that a little later. So let me go ahead and drop this compost down. All right, so I got my black cow. I was gonna put a little bit, a couple inches down this little area. All right, just give give the plant something to uh, feed off of. All right, let me spread this out a little bit. And I like a uh, black cow. I have a lot of success with it. So that's why I use it. And I also use my uh, compost as well when I have enough. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna take my uh, poles and I'm gonna stake them down. And I normally put them about uh, maybe six to eight inches down or well, apart from one another because you need this for the uh, pole beans to uh, grow up and you want to make sure that you actually get pole beans because if you get beans that don't uh, travel up then uh, you don't, you're not going to uh, have pole beans of course so like bush beans they only grow a certain height and I like the uh, pole beans because you can uh, grow in a smaller area and I believe you can get a lot of uh, beans from the uh, pole beans I'm gonna get this big steak push this down I'm gonna show you what else I do to try to get more beans as well. I'm almost finished this row. Uh, I think I got room for one or two more. All right, one more. Now I'll do that one later. All right, so the next thing that I do, oh, I can get through here, is I try to extend the actual poles. So what I would do, and I know this is a duct tape, and if you look close, yep, you know it. This is the end of a uh, fishing rise. The uh, fishing uh, poles went bad, so I came up with the idea last year of uh, adding two my pole beans by staking them up. And then so once the uh, pole beans go around the uh, pole, then I'll just uh, clip that and I use zip ties to uh, clip it to the uh, top of the pole. And then so once the uh, pole beans travel up here, then I will help them get started on this added piece and then I have pole beans growing down this uh, pole. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get the uh, pole beans. And what I like to do is I like to uh, plant maybe four pole beans around each uh, post. And sometimes I'll do a little bit extra just in case they don't uh, germinate. So let me bring you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And the uh, pole beans, they put nitrogen into the uh, soil. So that's a good thing. And uh, when the uh, beans come up, all I'm gonna do is move my uh, wood chips around the uh, base of the uh, pole beans so that they can be uh, nice and uh, moist because uh, you want to make sure that you don't uh, get these all dried out. So that's why the, uh, the wood chips help me keep it moist. So all I'm doing is putting them around like this. And so I'm gonna go down like maybe an inch. No more than an inch. And I use my uh, finger to go down to the first joint and that'll be my inch but it looks real cool to uh, have the uh, pole beans travel up the, uh, the poles like I said it saves you space and when your uh, pole beans come up um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you harvest the uh, beans because Harvesting the beans is going to produce more beans. The more you, the more you harvest, the more you get. So you want to treat this like a, a machine and keep uh, harvesting your beans. So slide down. I done dropped my wood chips in here. So I'm gonna do a few more, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about about how I get the uh, extra uh, beans to travel down the pole. Alright, so I was going to uh, do these uh, beans a long time ago. I don't know, I just didn't get up and uh, do it. So I said I better hurry up so I can get a harvest in. But all I'm doing, like I said, is putting four, four beans per, uh, per stake. And if I need to uh, thin them out, I'll do so. Because I think some of them I actually put more than four. But this is how I'm growing my uh, pole beans. Very, very simple to do. I just keep pushing down, keep going. All right, I'm about halfway done. After I push these down, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I uh, get the uh, extra hole on the uh, stakes. Good. All right, so let me show you that now. If I can get by here. All right, all you need is your zip tie and your uh, post, your smaller one. All you're gonna do is go around the uh, top, let them cross over. Once I get it in, all I'm gonna do is pull tight to uh, lock it in. And I probably would get another one and go around it. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so I'll get another one just to make sure it's sturdy enough to uh, lock it in. And then I got extra space for uh, more, more beans for it to go down. And I'll try to do as many as I can, going all the way down to try to get uh, more, more beans. 
All right, so that's uh, one of my tricks to try to grow and get more uh, beans. And like I said, you wanna make sure that you keep the uh, area nice and moist. I'm using the, uh, the wood chips once the uh, plant grows, bring it back around the uh, base of the plant, the base of the pole, and that's gonna help me uh, keep the uh, area moist. And once, also once they, uh, they grow, you, you wanna make sure that you check for any uh, pests like aphids or anything like that. And if you have uh, aphids, you can use uh, different sprays. Um, neem oil works very well. That'll uh, get it off there. So this is, I think, a, a better way to uh, check for uh, pests because everything is gonna be climbing and it's easier to uh, spot any uh, issues. Oh, and the other reason is it's great for picking or harvesting the uh, plants. You don't have to bend over. You can just go walk through, grab your beans off. It's probably easy on your back. So that's another um, benefit to growing pole beans. It keeps down, you can grow a lot in a little bit of space. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up, but this is uh, my way of uh, growing uh, pole beans. Um, so thanks for uh, sticking, sticking around and watching this. And hopefully you are growing pole beans as well. And if not, uh, give it a shot. It's very easy uh, to grow. All right, this is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye.